So I'm sure you're aware of baking soda and its various uses inside the house in baking, cleaning, deodorizing, and a range of other things. But did you know that it's equally useful in the garden? Surprise? Hi viewers and welcome back to Bestie. There are lots of benefits in choosing baking soda for your garden. Not only is it safer to use than the harmful chemicals found in pesticides, fertilizers, and other garden products, but it's also affordable and found in just about every store. In today's video, we'll tell you the different ways that you can use baking soda in your garden, from killing crabgrass, revitalizing your compost, cleaning plant leaves, keeping cut flowers fresh, to treating poison ivy and more. Watch till the end to learn about all of them. Number 1. Healthy Fungicide Fungal problems can be tough to prevent in the garden, especially if this year's weather happens to be warm and wet. Luckily, there are some simple steps you can take to prevent fungus from taking hold. One of the easiest ways is to mix four tablespoons of baking soda with a gallon of lukewarm water. Use this mixture on roses to treat black spot fungus or on vines and grapes as soon as fruits begin to appear. This baking soda concoction also works well at preventing and treating powdery mildew, a disease that's common to all kinds of plants, but particularly to squash plants. You can even sprinkle a bit of baking soda on tomato plants, which will prevent slugs and tomato hornworms. Are you a fan of gardening? What are the plants, flowers, or vegetables that you've grown on your own? Tell us quickly in the comments section below. Number 2. Test Soil You can do a simple pH test on your soil with baking soda. Your plants absorb the minerals found in the ground through their roots. If the soil is too acidic or alkaline, it hampers this process. Conduct a simple home experiment using baking soda and vinegar to test your soil's pH levels. Place the two soil samples into small cups. Add a half a cup of vinegar to one of those cups. If the soil bubbles, the soil is alkaline. This means that it has a pH level of 7 or more. If it doesn't bubble, use the other soil sample to test the acidity. Add the baking soda to the water and pour the solution into the cup. If the soil bubbles, you have acidic soil with a pH level of 7 or below. If the test reveals that your soil is acidic, you can amend the problem with sprinkling baking soda over it just before you water. This will help to reduce its acidity. Continue to test your soil weekly until it no longer bubbles when exposed to water and baking soda. Number 3. Revitalize your compost Starting and maintaining your own compost pile is one of the best things you can do for your garden. What's the best way to prevent it from reeking and scaring your neighbors? Add a bit of baking soda. It'll eliminate the odors without stopping the beneficial actions of valuable microorganisms in your compost. If you don't compost, you're missing out. Number 4. Natural Ant Killer Powdered sugar and baking soda are a natural ant killer that creates a fatal bait. Mix equal amounts of both ingredients and sprinkle over ant hills. When the ants eat the mixture, they carry it back to their nests, killing the ants within. The sugar attracts the ants, while the baking soda kills them. Be sure to use powdered sugar and not granulated sugar, as the ants will pick out the granulated sugar, leaving the baking soda behind. Number 5. Banish Sap-Sucking Pests both aphids and spider mites are incredibly aggravating garden pests to deal with, and they can kill your plants. Both of these organisms suck nutrients and moisture out of the leaves of your plants, for instance, completely depleting them of their nutrients. Use baking soda to deter them. Simply combine two cups of water with two-thirds cup of olive oil and a teaspoon of baking soda. Mix the combination in a spray bottle, then apply it to your plants. These annoying pests will be gone in no time. Number 6. Clean Plant Leaves Plants need photosynthesis to survive and thrive. To keep your house plants, make the most of the sunshine they receive. Keep their leaves clean by wiping them gently with a damp sponge or soft cloth dampened with a very diluted solution of baking soda and water. Add about half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda to a liter of pure, filtered water to make this gentle cleaning solution. Number 7. Organic Pesticide For those of you who are environmentally conscious, buying chemical pesticides is a pretty undesirable option. Although you don't want your gardens to get eaten up by bugs and other critters, 
You also don't want to risk having poison leak into the ground or carried into your home. Fortunately, you can make a safe and effective pesticide with baking soda. All you have to do is mix a tablespoon of olive oil, two tablespoons of baking soda, and a couple drops of liquid soap in a gallon of water. Put it in a spray container and apply it gently to your garden every three days. It'll definitely keep the bugs away. Number eight, get rid of patches of crabgrass. If you don't already know, crabgrass are those annoying and fibrous little chunks of grass that seem to always grow back between sidewalks and other problem areas. For an easy way to get rid of them so they don't come back, all you have to do is moisten the problem area and apply a thick amount of baking soda so it turns to paste. Sweep the paste into the cracks and it should wipe out any weeds you may have. Just keep it away from the grass you want to keep. Number 9. Keep cut flowers fresh. When you bring your flowers inside, it's inevitable that they're going to die back eventually. However, you can keep them looking gorgeous for longer if you add a tablespoon of baking soda to a couple quarts of water. Change the solution every day and you'll find that your flowers stay fresh twice as long as they used to. Number 10. Make a plant fertilizer. Baking soda on its own can be used to fertilize plants, but you can use it with other products to make good replacements for fertilizers. Just combine one tablespoon of Epsom salt with a teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of household ammonia. Put this mixture into a gallon of water and stir well. Use it once a month on your plants by mixing one eighth to one fourth of the concentration with four cups of water in a watering can. Number 11, kill cabbage worms. These little caterpillars don't just feed on cabbage leaves. They also love to eat other brassicas, such as broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and kale in your vegetable garden as well. To kill them, make a mixture of 50% white flour and 50% baking soda. Put the mixture in a shaker container or a powder dispenser and dust the plants that are infested. The leaves of the brassicas are thick and the mixture will not damage them, but the caterpillars will eat it and soon die off. Number 12. Treat Poison Ivy Anyone who spends a lot of time out in the garden has likely gotten a poison ivy rash. Heard the term, leaves of three, let them be? Sometimes you can find yourself in a patch of it unknowingly. If this happens, one effective home remedy uses baking soda. To treat poison ivy, mix half a cup of baking soda to some bath water and soak in it. You can also make a paste by combining baking soda with apple cider vinegar or water and applying it to the rash to soothe the itch. Number 13. Perk up your plants. Plants looking a little listless? Try watering them with a gallon of pure filtered water, a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of Epsom salts, and half a teaspoon of ammonia. They'll be looking healthier in no time. For regular maintenance, you can do this as often as once a month. Roses, in particular, love this kind of TLC. Not just for the outdoors, plants are beneficial for your health even when you keep them indoors. Want to know why? Watch this video titled 5 Health Benefits of Keeping Plants in Your Home and Office. Now, back to baking soda hacks for your garden. Number 14. Sweetened Tomatoes There's nothing that says summer quite like biting into a fresh, juicy tomato fresh from the garden. Baking soda can make those tomatoes even sweeter. Just sprinkle a bit on the soil that surrounds the tomato plants. It'll lower the acidity levels and make your tomatoes taste 10 times better. Just try not to get any plants themselves. Number 15. Clean up walkways. If you have walkways that wind through your garden or your yard, you can use baking soda to get them cleaned up. Just wash the surface using two tablespoons of baking soda per quart of warm water. For tough stains and dirt, you can use a little more baking soda and then use a scrub brush or broom with a stiff bristle to scrub it off. Remember that you'll need to be careful not to spill the solution on your flower beds or get it into your lawn. This is because a high concentration of baking soda is likely to burn your wanted grass and plants. Number 16. Insect Repellent Spray Add one teaspoon baking soda and a third cup mustard oil to a plastic or glass container with a tightly fitting lid. Now stir the ingredients to mix. Return the top to the jar and store at room temperature. 
When ready to use, mix two tablespoons of the dry mixture to one cup of warm water in a plastic or glass spray bottle. Shake to mix. Spray the solution around any area where you want to get rid of unwanted bugs as an effective mosquito repellent spray. How often do you garden? What are your favorite garden plants? Let us know in the comments section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.